as the grossest thing you'll ever see. You could call it a summer tradition. Mayflies attracted to the lights on this bridge in Tunkhannock rise up from the Susquehanna River and then die within a day or two. When they decompose, the bugs give off a distinct smell, one that people who live in Tunkhannock are all too familiar with. People who live here in Tunkhannock tell Newswatch 16 this bridge is a pretty well-traveled one. People use it to get to stores like Walmart, which is just about a half mile up the road. Henry Vandenberg doesn't walk across the bridge, but he can still smell the dead mayflies from his car when he drives over it. Yeah, I drive across it I don't know, two or three times a week, and you just see odor from the where they run is terrible because it comes right up through my my fresh air system in my car, and it's a. Uh, it was very obnoxious odor. Traffic was backed up for miles on Route 29 Tuesday as PennDOT crews worked to repave Bridge Street. But after seeing and smelling the Mayfly situation, the crews will now spend time shoveling the Mayflies off the bridge. I've been in this job nine years now. This is the first I've heard of Mayflies that we have to send a crew out for two days and clean off a sidewalk that's just filled with these bugs. PennDOT can clean up the Mayflies, but there's nothing the department can do to control them. I don't know, I guess we just have to live with it because it's nature. PennDOT hopes to have both the paving and the Mayfly shoveling projects done by the end of this week, but since Mayfly cleaning is uncharted territory for many of the workers, it may take a bit longer. Elizabeth Worthington, Newswatch 16, live in the newsroom. John and Julie. I guess I'm glad we can't smell.